Act 3, Scene 3, another part of the battlefield several hours later. Now think back to what we know from just the previous scene. Brutus sees an advantage over Octavius, and so he's grabbing that advantage. And here we see how it's going for Cassius several hours later. He's fighting Antony. What I want you to focus on is his state of mind, Cassius' state of mind. He's always been so hot and cold and so emotional and quick to make actions and judgments. We saw in Act 3, right before the assassination uh, uh, of Julius Caesar, uh, you know, he's walking up the steps and some non-conspirator comes up and goes, good luck with your enterprise and your endeavor today. Oh, what a, a good, good luck. And he was nervous that this guy was telling Caesar and he didn't know that this guy would know. That, but this guy knows, who else knows? And so he got really worked up and really nervous. Um, and he pulled out a dagger and said, if we can't kill Caesar, then I'm going to kill myself. Because this, you know, he's just quick to make an action and judgment. Look at his reaction when he finds out about how Brutus is doing and then ultimately how he's doing with Mark Antony. Um, and then kind of think, are we surprised by how it plays out? Um, you know, this is a tragedy, obviously, so it's not going to be happy, happy. But look at uh, those signs and how they are interpreted uh, by Cassius um, in his uh, discussions with Titanius, who is his. Titanius is to him what Masala is to Brutus, so remember that. Um, and so Titanius is going to be his messenger, and then his slave Pindarus uh, plays a big role in this uh, particular scene. Act 5, Scene 3. So scene three, another part of the battlefield several hours later, um, we have Brutus, uh, you know, at the very end coming across, you know, the, the body of Cassius. Cassius really struggles. You know, he's threatened his own suicide uh, time and time again, um, but he actually goes through with it here with, you know, help from somebody. But um, uh, it, it's important to notice, uh, you know, how he's up and down and how battle can change from time to time and really at a moment's notice. Um, oh, look, Titanius, look, the villains fly. Myself have to mine own turned enemy. So he's saying that uh, my men, my own people are flying, fleeing. So it's not going well for Cassius. So while Brutus, in Octav Brutus is beating up on Octavius, Antony is doing so well against Cassius that Cassius' troops are starting to flee and run away. And so that's why he says, Myself have to mine own turned enemy. This ensign here of mine was turning back, and I slew the coward. So this standard bearer, the person that carries the flag, he was leaving, so I killed him because he was going to, to cause such a, a you know, I, I don't have traitors. I don't have people on my crew, so, so I killed him. Um, Let's see, uh, he says, Oh, Cassius, Brutus gave the word too early, who, having some advantage on Octavius, took it too eagerly. His soldiers fell to spoil, to looting, whilst we by Antony are all close. So he says, In looking over there, my partner, they ended and were victorious, and instead of coming to help, they kind of go, Okay, well, we did our part. Let's just relax. Things are going fine. And they started to loot and get money and get all of this stuff and look over the corpses instead of coming. And that's Titanius's opinion. So then this individual named Padaris shows up. He goes, my lord, fly, fly for Lord. Mark Antony is in your tent. So leave, get out of here. Mark Antony is in your camp. So it's overrun. So it's pretty much done for us. So you need to go. You need to take off. Go away. Um, Cassius says, look, look, Titanius, are those our tents that I perceive are on fire? They are, my lord. Titanius, if thou lovest me, mount thy horse and hide thy spurs. So dig in and fly quickly. And whether yon troops find out if those are our friends or foes, because that could be the final determination as to what I'm going to do in a little bit. So Titanius takes off, and he goes. He's off stage. Cassius, Pindarus, get up higher. Watch, regard Titanius, and tell me what thou notest about, noticed about the field. So you relate to me what you see. Be my eyes up there. Um, this day I breathed first, time is come around, and where I did begin, there shall I end. My life is run, his compass, so it's come full circle, so I sense that this is going to be the end, is what he's sensing. 
So Pindarus is climbing. He goes, my lord, what news? Titanius is enclosed round about with horsemen that make to him on the spur. So he's riding and he's being circled by other horsemen. Okay, he goes, oh, now they are almost on him. Oh, now, Titanius, now show some light. Show, they get some dis, everybody gets off their horses. Oh, he gets off his horses too. Oh, he's tame, he's taken prisoner, and they're shouting for joy. Oh, great. Oh, great. So, uh, things aren't looking too good. Cassius, come down, behold no more. Oh, coward that I am to live so long to see my best friend tame before my face. So how horrible to see Titanius taken. Come here, Pindars. In Parthia, when in, victor in victory I took you, you were my slave. And you swore thee, saving of thy life, that whatsoever I did bid thee do, thou shouldst attempt it. Come, now keep thine oath. Now, be a free man. But you must do one more thing for me. And you swore you would do it. Take this sword. And when I'm not looking, stab me with it. And kill me. So I'm not going to take my sword and do it. You take my sword. And when I cover my face, I want you to kill me. Um, uh, and that's what he says. Uh, and use this sword that ran through Caesar's bowels. Search this bosom. Stand not to answer. Don't think. Here. Take thou the hilt, so take the sword. And when my face is covered as it is now, guide thou the sword. Pindars, he does it. He stabs him. Caesar, <clears throat> thou art revenged, even with the sword that killed thee. And so Cassius dies. Pindars is a free man. Pindars is a free man. So he goes, so I am free. Yet would not so have been. Durst, I have done my will. O Cassius, far from this country, Pindarus shall run, where never Roman shall take note of him. So Pindarus flees and takes off. He's a free man now. Um, the last ending of this particular scene, uh, we see Tar uh, Titanius and Masala walk back in. Titanius is one who it was on the horse, who we saw overtaken. But wait a minute. Who is Masala? Masala was a messenger of Brutus from the previous scene. And so, yes, Titanius was overtaken, and they all got off their horse, and there was great shouting, but it was Brutus's, an ally, his crew that had surrounded Titanius, so they were all rejoicing. So Cassius misinterpreted, or Pindarus misinterpreted what happened, and they were actually fine, but yet he went, he was rash to judgment and killed himself. Um, and so Titanius, Octavius is overthrown by noble Brutus' power, and Cassius' legions are by Antony. So Cassius was actually winning. These tidings will well comfort Cassius. Oh, where did you leave him? Oh, he was all disconsolate. He was all uh, dejected and mournful and sad. So his, he's with Pindarus, his slave, uh, up uh, upon this hill. Is that not he that lies upon the ground? He lies not like the living. Oh, my heart. Is not that he? No, this was he, Mensala. But Cassius is no more. So he is dead. And he shouldn't have been because we had this glorious news. And so we see that, uh, you know, the, the misinterpretation of the news. Uh, he ends up killing himself. Um, good. Uh, let's see. He says, line 65, Titanius goes, Mistrust of my success has done this deed. So he was fear, fearful of my mission's outcome. He was fearful of what I was going to find. And Masala, uh, Brutus's man, says, Mistrust of good success has done this deed. So fear of how the battle would turn out. So he was fearful of ultimately what was going to transpire. The, uh, Masala has his little soliloquy before he kills himself. He says, Why didst thou send me forth, brave Cassius, did I not meet thy friends, and did not they put on my brows this wreath of victory, and bid me give it to thee? Didst thou not hear their shouts? Alas, thou hast misconstrued everything. You misinterpreted everything. Oh, woe is me, and how sad. Um, come, Cassius, 
By your leave, gods, this is a Roman part. Come, Cassius' sword, and find Titanius' heart. So he picks up the sword and stabs himself and dies. There is a line in Macbeth when Macbeth is contemplating suicide, and he says that I am not going to play the Roman fool and fall upon my sword. Look at all the suicide that's happening here. The pointless suicide. These two people should not have been dead. Talking about the suicide of Cato and Brutus and what he, he thinks is cowardly, but yet he will do it. And we'll get to see what happens with, with Brutus. But these are all Roman people. And so we see uh, in that story with Macbeth, which is a Scottish story, and he calls that foolish. I won't play the Roman, Roman fool and fall upon my sword, where we see all of these examples of people falling upon their sword. Um, and so everybody is dead on stage. Um, and then Brutus comes on with Masala. And Brutus is dejected because his friend died. Um, he says, Oh, Julius Caesar, thou art mighty, yet thy spirit walks abroad and turns our swords in our own. So even though we're victorious in battle, you're still, or maybe it's down there in hell, you're still victorious. You're making us kill ourselves. Oh, damn it, Caesar's ghost. And so he's very frustrated and angry and dejected that you know, my people, Cassius, uh, killed himself while we are doing very well and near victorious in the battle. Um, are yet two Romans living such as these? The last of all the Romans, fare thee well. It is impossible that ever Rome should breed thy fellow, thy equal. Friends, I owe more tears to this dead man than you shall see me pay. I shall find time, Cassius, I shall find time to mourn you and cry for you. But I can't do that because there's still fighting to be done. And those last couple lines of this scene, he takes off and he goes, Set our battles on, tis three o'clock, and Romans yet ere night, we shall try fortune in a second fight. So they're using this these deaths as additional motivation. Let's go and stamp out all that is remaining of our enemies. Let's get another rallying cry and go and fight. Because it's not done yet. Let's go and put the finishing touches on uh, our victory and hopefully, you know, retake Rome and retake the rulers. Uh